will turn on my desktop sound this time. Guys, is it playing music as soon as you enter? Yes. Yep. Lovely. Somehow, it started doing that when uh, Roll20 crashed. And I don't know why. It's now huh. playing nothing. But it's still playing. <laughs> it's the ghost song. Yep. It's there. Oh, hey, we're live. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to another session of the Wildlands campaign. We are doing a short session this evening, just an hour long. Uh, we wanted, to, uh, we are going to be missing one of our players on Saturday, so we will have our regular game on Saturday night, but I wanted to enable uh am to join us for this evening as it might be an important turning or at least decision making point for the party we'll see um and i wanted her to be able to participate in that and you know it's always good to get more DD &D into one week so we are primed to have some fun now um i am currently not playing any music because I know there's a song that's playing on all my players' uh, Roll Twenties. For some reason, Roll Twenty is is borked at the moment. I have no idea why it it suddenly, after it crashed, it just started playing music on startup, and I don't know how or why. Um, but there you have it. Um, so when that song finishes, guys, let me know. If, if you're not hearing any more music, and I'll start some, some music that's not that one song. <laughs> Roll 20 had a critical failure. Indeed, Taladar. I take no blame for this. Guys, last time, uh, you were at the Tower o the Green, an elvish commune deep in the woods. Actually, north of the woods and into the edge of the Mistmire. You're a day's, half a day's journey into the Mistmire at this point. And uh, this little enclave of elves uh, is living here protected from the terrible monsters without um, by the powerful magic of their half-elf druid leader, Avain Tanithra. Um, there are a number of interesting characters here, uh, and Bliss especially has had a rather tense couple of interactions with one of them in particular, the blacksmith, uh, who runs the Exalted Sword. Um, what else? Uh, Maver was hit on by said half-elven druid, uh, not too creepily, but, you know, it wasn't necessarily, uh, reciprocated. Um, but she did take uh, her moment to ask him for a favor, an important favor having to do with her backstory. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, what else? Uh, dreams. Three more people, three more members of the party had strange visions in the night. Um, actually, yes. Two more people, I should say. Two more people had strange visions in the night. Um, and, uh, and, uh, uh, there is a, um, well, we'll see what happens, but, uh, but they, they, uh, they woke up, uh, changed uh or some people woke up changed and different uh it was bella and bliss who had dreams your resident half-elf bard and resident uh devil man as the racist uh elf blacksmith put it um uh bliss uh bar it was also a bard um they both had dreams in the night um and woke up um somewhat frantic um but breath wakes up and his his demeanor is different his body is somewhat changed um his um dyed hair has changed color um to a sea a sea green an ocean bluish green 
Um, and uh, there's a different look about Bref. Um, and Bref, you have a somewhat squidgy stomach the next day. Uh, you know, it's nothing too debilitating. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but some of you have awakened somewhat, somewhat changed. Um, and, uh, all of you have had, uh, some interesting things or interactions, uh, here at the Tower of the Green. Okay. You slept, you woke up, you ate some, uh, some breakfast in the, uh, brothel. Uh, here in the overgrown tower of these elves. And um, the next morning you found um, all of these claw marks, great gouges, uh, and some stones have been pulled out of the wall right outside where you've stored the eggs, uh, where you stored the eggs for the night. Um and Avain wants to know if you guys know anything about this. We know a little. We're rather confused about the situation as well. Our information is very nonspecific in that we had our wyvern eggs there, which I'm sure you noticed considering they're enormous. But, um, I don't know what exactly is going on here. I think Bliss will whisper to, um, I, I guess, Akiri and, and say, um, we are assuming it was the big lumbering creature that was following us, right? Akiri's nodding. Okay, just checking. Um, okay. Avin kind of looks at you all. You all feel as though he's looking directly at you. And he, after pausing for a moment, says, Well, I see. Now, the Fast Foot crew is going to be leaving soon. We hope that you will stay with us for man's might, which is only two days away. Do we have time? Uh, he's, he, again, he's aiming this, this question at Akiri. Don't we need to go to something that your event that you were trying to get to? Akiri looks thoughtful for a second. And I think we have time. We had double the amount of time that we needed to get there. And we've been making pretty good time as it is. Okay, I was just checking because we did just go through a dungeon. I didn't know if we needed to make up for any lost time. But if, if you say that we've got time, then that's okay. Yeah, we've got We should be okay. So you will stay with us. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. How nice. Stay with you. It will be good to celebrate. Um Yes, it is the fifteenth of uh the month of Mand at the moment. So you're two days away from the holiday. Um, silly foot, uh, silly bean fast foot, the halfling uh, of the uh, leader of the other uh, group says, well, we ain't got time to hang around. Our, uh, what our uh, sword wing companion has this meeting to get to of the sword wings so we've got to go and try and do this quest while we still have his help 
And Kiri's gonna nod. Yeah, we're going to the end scene one. Oh, you are? Yeah, <laughs> eventually. Well, I guess he'll see you there. Kiri does like a little pop head nod. Are you going to go chase after those unicorns then? We sure are. Miss, hey, wasn't your hair pink the other day? Yeah, I swallowed a worm. You swallowed a worm. Yeah, some worm. That I mean, I was kind of expecting some side effects, but this. I, I don't know if I'd call it a benefit or just I don't know. I'm get I'm getting used to it. I think you pulled it off. Thank you. Well be careful and uh, don't overexert yourselves at the celebrations. I'm more than half tempted to stick around and uh, compete with y'all. But uh, as I said, we've got to get a move on. If we're going to save those unicorns. Well, do be careful. Thank you kindly. Uh, be before you leave, did... I realize we mentioned that we saw them. Did we actually give you the location of where that was? No, but you said that you flew over it and saw that the unicorns were still alive as of a month or two ago. I wouldn't consider that as overly certain that they are still that way, given the reports we've been getting. So, you know the city of Westhead. If you go right. northeast from Westhead for three days, and then southeast for one day, you should find the place we saw on that. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, Breath, was it? That's me. I heard that uh, the troll haunt, the troll haunt hold is, uh, troll haunt keep is uh, fort in the Armadan forest between the mountains. That sounds about right. Somewhat south and uh, east of here. Yeah, that's about right. A couple days south and a couple days southeast. If you run into a giant obelisk, don't stay the night. Because then you probably won't leave. Thanks for the tip. Appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, we've got to stop those trolls. Friendly folk, aren't you? I like that about you. We try to be. Or, or I Good. Well, if you're heading into the Mistmire after the celebrations, I'd suggest you watch out too. Thanks. It's a dangerous place. And not just because of the legendary monsters. Well, if you're ever, uh, if you're ever, uh, over by the, uh, the Hopeful Wolves, uh, Adventurers Guild, uh up in red er, red blocks uh come by and 
say hello. We might be there. That would be really cool. Certainly. If we're in the area, we'll try to find you. Well, the um, the fast foot crew starts packing up their gear, preparatory to heading out. Um, the uh, the fact that uh, Sir Kluk um, keeps glancing over at you, Akiris, does not go unnoticed. She's gonna when she notices that she's gonna go up to him. Okay. Uh, have a have a safe trip, okay? Hmm. Safe flights to you as well. Thank May the you. wind be at your back. And you too. And uh, if I, if you are indeed attending the uh, the gathering, the meeting, well, I will see you there. My intention is, once these unicorns have been freed, and the trolls and their vile leader soundly punished. To fly there with all speed myself. Sounds good. Uh, I think we're we're kind of meandering in that. What's that? We're kind of meandering in that direction, so we'll probably see you eventually. Well, I'm sure you will meander there. Okay, guys. Not, and go do her own thing. All right, I'm gonna try to play a song again. Let's let's try. Oh my god, it's working. I think it's just one particular playlist. If I play that playlist, it plays that song at, on top of whatever other song. Wild. Um. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Bliss would like to investigate the footprints that we saw that the they saw near our cart. Sure. Um, I would like to request that those with sharper eyes come with him because he's not the best investigator. Carrie's gonna come with him. Those are her eggs, dang it. Uh, you guys start investigating the footprints. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Whoever's going to roll has advantage for the other one helping. Not great at these, um. So you can go ahead and roll if you want to. I'm not great either. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead. And... You, if you, do you have a negative to your modifier? No. Neither do I. Okay, you go. Okay, I'll just roll then. Well, um, can I use inspiration to re-roll? Sure. And eight. Uh, well, I mean, you can tell these big lumbering footprints come out of and go back into the swamp. Um, passing the, the sort of the edge of this glade where the tower rises up. Um... But more than that, you're not really able to tell. Are there any other signs of the big lumbering creature? Broken trees? Um, 
mo brush that's been moved over because that that thing didn't re wasn't very coordinated so it tended to it looked like it bumped into stuff all the time i feel like it would leave quite the imprint there is one other sign of the creature something unusual uh at the base of the tower under where it had pulled out some stones there's a huge bundle of moss I wonder if it's trying to make a nest. I do remember when I woke up with the eggs that I had a bunch of moss on me. Um, I suppose that might make some kind of sense. It seems to have some connection to the, some attachment to the eggs. Yeah, I agree. It surprises me that it could sneak up on us in the middle of the night when it's usually such a big lumbering thing, but I didn't hear it when it... That's why I thought that the moss was from something else, but I guess it probably belongs to this creature. I just can't imagine it sneaking up on us in the middle of the night. I mean, it's native to these parts. I'd be surprised if it couldn't. But like you saw it, it bumped into trees like it was a giant toddler. Wasn't exactly the quietest creature in the world. That's true. I don't know, I wonder if the people of this place know more about him. I suppose we can ask. I don't really know why the others didn't speak up more specifically about it. That's why I didn't say anything. I was like, are we not telling, talking about the giant four-eyed monster that was following us around? I guess not, but I think we probably should. Yeah, I mean, I don't still don't really trust these people, but I mean, we kind of let a monster here. I feel like we should say something. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ask around about it. Okay. So I guess we'll try to find. I mean, I'll see. I mean, I'll see if I can find. I owe her a song, so I'll see if I can find. Um, uh, Anastriana. Okay, sure. Um, yes, she is um, in the brothel. Um, she seems to be um, washing some uh, bedclothes. Um, Bliss will approach her. The elf and... looks up and smiles. Oh, hello. After you ran away last night, I wasn't sure uh, you'd come and uh, talk to me again. Well, I owe, I owe you a song, and I never back down okay. on a song that I owe. Oh, man of uh, honor. Yes, although it looks like you're occupied right now, so if it's not a good time, I could always come back later. Oh, you can help me while away the hours. Well... Um, Bliss will, um, kind of like, it, this is more of a lute song than a, than a, uh, the tambourine song. So he'll bring out his lute and, um, he will just start to strum it and he will sing this song that I posted in the lore writing. And I'm not sure I feel like comfortable singing okay. it out loud, but, um, <laughs> Maybe uh, this, that's just the first, like, stanza or what like first verse or whatever like there's more but i didn't want i didn't i didn't write out the whole thing it's just like this is just like the the intro just to give you an idea of what it's like um but uh, he wrote this song and he he starts singing it to her and then when he finishes he just sort of you know does a little bow and uh, just i hope that is to your liking all right well will you post it in the dis in the super commenter discord yeah i will it, it's just a short one though folks head to the super commenter discord for uh the lyrics of the song that Bliss sings. But afterwards, she claps and laughs and uh, sprays you with soap and uh, and uh, says, that was amazing and the first time anyone's ever done that for me. Kitsith, so Kitsith, come here. You look up to see uh, Kitsith, um, who looks a little bit out of it. Um, kind of wander over. This is actually the first time you've seen her since she went to her house and laid down. And Anastriana says, 
you look a bit lost, dear. Why don't you sit down and listen to this wonderful song this uh, bliss has composed for me. Again! Bliss just kind of chuckles, and um, but he's not one to turn down an audience, so he pulls out the lute, and he starts singing again. And uh, he, yeah, he, he he tries to add different flourishes and maybe tries to make it that so that he's singing more to um, Kitsi, even though it's uh, Anastriana is the name of the song, um, just to change things up a little bit and make it more about her. And then when he finishes, he just, again, does a bow and says, I thank you for allowing me to perform uh, more than once. It's it's nice, you know, it's just nice to do what I'm, what I like doing what I was born to do. Um, Kitsith manages a smile. And she says, uh, you're famous now in Austriana. Um, and she kind of stands up and uh, nods, uh, smiles again, and, and walks away. I think before she leaves, Bliss will kind of reach out a hand and just kind of gently, like, hold her head and say, Darling, are you, are you doing all right? She says, I, I don't know. I'm safer here, but I don't feel safe. These powerful spellcasters, like Ave, and he means well, but... All these immortal or near immortal people, they don't understand. Or maybe he just can't do anything to help me. As she talks, Bliss suddenly has to realize that he, as she's been talking, he's been squeezing her hand tighter and his eyes are just kind of like locked onto every word, onto her and like taking in every word she's saying. Something in what she said like resonated with him. When he realizes he's like crushing her hand, he just kind of lets go and says, uh, 